Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am here with Baby Memphis and Memphis is the Alexis kit by Cassie Brace painted by myself. I'm gonna get him changed today and I'm gonna answer a couple questions that was in the comment section while I get him dressed. Um, guys, if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also guys, if you're not part of the Chatterbox membership, which is the paid channel membership, the link is in the description bar and, or you'll see a join now button beside, beside the subscribe button. It is a dollar and 99 cents to join. And you do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, right now I have started doing a few little videos in there as well as we're going to do our once a month live stream still but um i've been really busy so i haven't been able to do a lot more than that so i've been adding you know other behind the scene posts and videos and also it's the first place where i share my babies that are going up for sale and I try to make sure that I always put it in there because the members get notification, email notification and stuff when I post. So therefore, it helps them not be, not miss, you know, sorry, Phoenix is over here as well. It helps, it helps them not miss out on a baby that's up for sale. Um, I'm working, finishing up a baby, uh, Soraya by Lori Tuzer Ross. Now, I actually posted her last night, um, work in progress pictures. And um, also, I am doing a little bit slightly discounted pricing in the Chatterbox um, from time to time as well. That particular baby I thought was going to be like very imperfect, but she ended up turning out better than I expected. But I still. Um, listed her as at a discounted rate but she sold right away so she never made it out to really get advertised outside of the chatterbox um and that kind of happens a lot too because and so a lot of people um was asking me like how do they buy um did you guys see when i put him on this i don't know if you guys seen when i put him on this I don't know, I can't remember. Um, anyway, a lot of people ask me, like, where do I sell my babies and stuff like that. I sell it on in the Chatterbox, um, Facebook, Instagram. I used to do eBay more than anything, but things have been getting so crazy, I just end up selling them, you know, on social media. But this is a little Star Wars little outfit. I had bought that outfit originally. I like that it has that one gold button. I don't know why that's so fascinating to me but I had got um the uh this outfit really for my grandbaby um I'm expecting my first grandson um from a different daughter and so I bought it for when I saw it I thought about him but I thought it was a smaller size and I bought this other outfit and for uh Drew but it it was a little too big so and I knew my daughter ended up liking that outfit even more she liked the Star Wars too but so I, I gave her that outfit and kept this outfit which nine times out of ten my grandma will still end up wearing it by the time he can forget uh, fit, fit it I will hold it like she said she was like oh I'm not worried about it he gonna get all their clothes <laughs> but we'll see so so now I got this other, I've seen these on sale. I think they were, they were $6.99 and it's chickpea, but it was at Birkin or something like that. I don't know what that is. Um, we don't have one here. And so, but it was online and it's chickpea brand. So I, I bought um, a couple in different sizes and so I want to see can he fit it it's a zero to three month 
Sometimes these brands be fitting differently. And I brought these two diapers because I wasn't sure which diaper he had on and which one I wanted to put if I wanted to change his diaper if he wasn't matching. But I think I'm going to leave him on this diaper because it has the palm trees and stuff. And even though it's not the exact colors, it still kind of have the same, you know, thing going on. So no need to change his diaper when it already kind of matched. And it's still kind of crisp. So, yeah. But yeah, I find some of these clothes, our brands are really big for like zero to three months. And Memphis is a good size. He's not, um, he's, he's not a big baby, like a toddler or anything. He's still very baby, but he's just, he's just a really good size, you know, for dressing. I like that he can fit a lot of the bigger clothes. So it gives me the ability to put him on more stuff. But yeah, so um, also a lot of people have been asking me and, you know, inboxing me about, you know, shopping for babies and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I, you know, I try to help when I can, but I just want you guys to be mindful that I am like extremely busy, you know, painting and stuff like that. So Sometimes I don't have the time to really help you, you know, look for that perfect baby and stuff like that. But I will tell you guys as a whole, you know, my advice when you're looking, just go into a lot of the doll groups. Look at what the other mommies are posting of their babies, you know, because you get to see the babies dressed in different clothes, posed in different ways. So it gives you an idea of. If the baby is posable, flexible, you know, just a lot of different things. And then if you're interested in a specific um, sculpt, go to the, the person that is selling the sculpt and, you know, ask for pictures or ask them or ask them where they can. You can find pictures, you know, if you don't see like their website or see any on their page, you know, just ask them if they have some posted somewhere. That way, you're not really like wasting their time just to look. And you're also not, um, you don't have to get into feel this feeling of, oh my God, I've been asking all these questions. Now I got to buy this baby from them or whatever. Um, if you can find it on your own on their page or if they have a link in their about section on Facebook for their website, I normally just will go into that and look on their website. And look at stuff, look at their pricing and stuff like that. If not, I ask. I mean, what what can they say? I'm trying to find out if I can afford this baby, you know, um, or if it's even still available type thing. So, you know, just, you know, start there. Um, a lot of times, unfortunately, I can't tell you about other people pricing and their stuff because it's their stuff. And, um... The other thing is, um, I also got people, like if I tell them I don't do customs, they ask me, you know, where to go and all that and stuff. I don't recommend other people for customs or uh, work babies, anything like that, because I'm not promoting or uh, endorsing anybody. That's, you know, that's not my job. Also, I don't want nobody coming back saying... I, I referred them to somebody and it didn't go well. Um, the other thing is my taste is my taste and you might not like what I like. And um, also I haven't bought from any silicone artists in I don't know how long other than Claire Teller. So, you know, the only person I can tell you that I know work is quality and nice is Claire Teller. But then when I say that, people will be like, I'm being a snob like I am like she not the only person that does da 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 but it's like well she's the only person I've bought from in a while so you asked me and that's all I know because I haven't bought these people and just because I might like their status or heart their picture you know I'm being nice and you know trying to you know support people and their babies and stuff like that doesn't mean that I think their work is great 
or I love their work or anything like that because I may or may not have seen it in person before. And I'm not going to tell you guys something about something that I've never seen in person before. So that's just my thing. He looks so cute in that, I think. And I know the blue shoes, just sandals don't really go-go, but I think it gives him such a summery look. Don't you guys think so? He's so cute. I love him. Um, I'm going to be painting another one um, like him when I get a chance um, to go with him. But yeah, he is like my sweet pie. But um, but yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think what else people ask. Um, a lot of people ask me where do I get my dolls. So as you guys can see, about 90% of my collection is babies that I painted myself. Um, so and then the kits. I get my kits primarily off of MacPherson website or the sculptor directly from the sculptor. Like I bought a lot of my kits directly from Laura, Laura Tuza Ross or Claire Teller. Um, Cause these sculptors that's, that's local, that's within the U.S. They sell their own kits in stock too, as long as as well as dealers. A lot of them use dealers just because you know, so they can ship worldwide and all that and stuff. But I found, I did shop through Irresistible. Sometimes if I can't find something on McPherson, I might go to Irresistible. But I'll be honest, I don't particularly um, like ordering from Irresistible. I prefer to order through McPherson. Um, but I will order through Irresistible if I have to. I order also through Bountiful Baby. So if you're looking for kits and you're, you know, Bountiful Baby, Irresistible, um, McPherson, I don't know i think dolls by sandy actually sell them too but i know like they're you know that's where i find other supplies um i'm trying to think of who else is out there that is just some of the main places um as far as art stuff i i get stuff from a lot of like professional art places but yeah um so that's that's that um, as far as my pricing, I say this all the time. I price my babies as I go after they're finished. Um, what babies I have coming up next that's going to be available. Um, I'm pretty much just waiting till babies get done to kind of let people know which ones I'm selling. Because some of these kits I bought intentionally to sell. And some I bought where I bought it for myself. and But I'm probably going to sell some of them so I don't know. Um, yeah, I also have not showed you guys, um, Christian yet, but, um, on video, but, um, I will do a video of, of him soon. And I think I'm trying to think of what other questions so yeah, the first place is where I list my babies is the Chatterbox. Then I go Facebook, Instagram, my blog. Um, but again, like I said, a lot of times lately the babies have not made it past the Chatterbox. Um, which I appreciate the Chatterbox members so much. Which is why I've decided, you know, that sometime I'm going to put a little discount in the Chatterbox, for, you know, outside especially for those that's been in there you know supporting me for a long time they've paid you know their dollar 99 and even before it used to be 4.99 I lowered it down to a dollar 99 so that more people can you know feel like they want to go in there but you know some people just like I'm not paying for no subscription and I get it and I understand that and that's why I don't get mad if you know if you are regular that follow my channel but you don't go into my paid membership it doesn't matter to me that way but I do um, take a, a special appreciation as well for the people that do do it um, that is it um, so I hope you guys like baby Memphis in his little new outfit and um, it's zero to three but it actually looks the size is more comparable to a three to six month but yeah so that's my sweet boy.
See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.